Hi everyone, my name is Andy Gorman. I'm a PGA golf professional here in the UK. For those of you who don't follow the channels, now if you do, that's great. Thank you very much for your likes and uh, your continued support. But if you don't, then just click on the buttons around and below and uh, click us a like if you like what we have to see. Now, fortunately for me, these days, I'm getting a, a few boxes, a few parcels, a few deliveries um, each and every week, and I'm getting to test some of the latest equipment, training aids, putters, wedges, etc. Watch the videos when they come through. Um, the latest training aid that I have right in front of me is about to be unveiled and it is the putting board um, designed by a couple of guys uh, in the USA and uh, well one of them has been looking after a gentleman by the name of Luke Donald for a number of years uh, as his coach and um, come up with the concept of the putting board. Now, I do know, having talked to the guys at the company, that uh, the putting board has been in use by former world number one um, over a period of time and before it became a commercial product. Now, I've been very fortunate that through my agent, we've been able to connect with the guys in the States and he has tested uh, the product whilst the, uh, the product was launched at the PGA show uh, in Orlando in January and I have received a box with the product in so I'm looking forward to unveiling it with you and giving it a try uh, with my students as well as obviously myself um, but welcome to the unveiling so basically um, the box is reasonably heavy so it suggests that it's going to be nice and stable um, crucially what do we have in the box so um, suggestion of a mirror of sorts. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> Tell I'm not very well versed in this type of thing, but uh, there we go, a little bit of protective material. So, yeah, it's not so much a mirror, it's a piece of perspex which has some lines on it. Um, the lines I know represent uh, distance of putts, um, based on the length of backswing for 4, 7, 10 and 13 feet. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to be able to go. There's also a bit of an arc line there for the sweet spot. And uh, wow, okay. Nice and compact. That is, that's fantastic. Uh, that's very clever actually. I'll make sure that the bolts are free because we don't want to be damaging anything before we get a chance. So, Right, where do we go from here? Ah, here we go. Oh, well, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> so, right, to see exactly what it does. So, screw these down because I'm assuming that this locks the base in place. Now, in an indoor studio, I would imagine that we need to put some kind of uh, grippy material on the bottom because I didn't see any in the unboxing. But there are some holes in here which suggest you get a nice long tee peg uh, and on the putting green you can actually um, connect that into the ground via the four holes on the platform. There's an adjustable plane board for the shaft to go on. So we've got some adjustable, there's a little scale here, uh, 67 through to 75 but it is fully adjustable all the way up to almost vertical actually it doesn't quite go to vertical but it doesn't need to anyway um, it's slightly flatter so all nicely connected up there protective cover for transportation And from here we can see that the lines would actually correspond um, with the length of stroke. So I'm assuming that this will uh, represent the shaft angles that we would need to be going back and forward. There's also a cradle here which um, will allow the shaft of the club to be clipped in. So there's a, an alignment as well and that's going to allow the putter to slide from side to side a little bit of audio feedback whilst it's doing that so 
that's it out of the box. That's putting board. Um, another little video. I think we'll explain. Well, try and find out, and then we'll explain what it actually does. See you in a moment.